Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family! Welcome, Welcome back. back! My name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. Today is freezing and we are keeping as warm as possible, but we're excited because we have more adventures in the camper today. Let's, Let's go! go. Hide, hide in the grace. <laughs> I need hair bands, bandanas, and hoods from now on to cover all the grace that are coming through. <laughs> Bandit. All right. Today, we are going to get a whole bunch of stuff done on the camper. As much as this weather is going to allow us to, I really, really wanted to spray all the windows today. As many of you suggested, I should just get that part done and over with. Right. But it is so windy. I'm going to paint the truck, the neighbor's houses, the trees, like it's so windy. So there's just no way I can spray paint outside today or open the windows and vent out. So what we're going to do is do a whole bunch of prep work because we are hoping, hoping, fingers crossed. Fingers yay, crossed. Keep your fingers crossed for me that we can do flooring tomorrow. <sighs> if I get all of my to-do list done today, we can do flooring tomorrow. That would that would be so awesome. So we're going to acclimate the flooring tonight in this space for 24 hours so that we can do the flooring tomorrow if I get my to-do list done. I think we can get it done. I think we can get it done. Okay. Ready? I mean, if we start right now. If we start, if we start right now, we can get, we can it, get done. it done. Let's, Let's do this. All right. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just removing all the nails that were in the hardwood that I left in the bathroom here and then I'm going to do a quick sweep so we can start painting in here so we're ready for the floor. So fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I like when you say, so we're ready for the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm ready for the floor, but I don't know if the floor is ready for the floor. So we have a lot of nails that were still stuck up from the previous flooring that was here. And although this side looks super yucky, this flooring is actually in good shape. It's just needs a real good cleaning here and all of the old hardware removed. And then of course we put in the new flooring on this side, which now that we've walked in and out, needs a real good cleaning before we can do the floor as well. And so what I'm doing is I need to make sure that all of the lowers on all of these are all painted white before we can do any flooring all around the edges and into the bathroom on all the lowers, at least the prime coat, that way I don't have to worry about it. And I am a pretty good painter, so I'm not overly worried about it once we get the flooring in, but yeah, we've got a little bit of prep work to do. This is like the sixth coat in this area. <laughs> You're gonna get your butt white. <laughs> maneuver around the wet paint. I'm just putting some more screws into the subfloor to stop kind of the creaking before we lay the floor down on the subfloor. So I'm trying to get as many screws in on the joists as I possibly can just for stability. We had run out of screws when we put this new joist and subfloor and insulation down and so we just had very minimal screws in kind of all the corners and used up everything that we had so we got some more screws and now just making sure that this is nice and tight, getting the floor all prepped and ready. But I know you're gonna get a white butt because whether you hit that bench behind you or you hit this one that's wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> I see it. Last night when I got out of the shower, I had white paint stuck all on the top of the bun I had on the top of my head. The wind is doing the rest of the creaking. It's a I'm, little blustery out there. I marked where all the joists run across before I laid this floor down. Thank so goodness. I'll, yeah, thank goodness. I know where a bunch of them are. You know what that know good green marker it. that I gave you? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I've been on my hands and knees for the last hour and a half screwing screws into Elisha's dance floor so she can <laughs> boogie. And I'm having a tea right now. Tea break. Cheers. Cheers. And I just painted for about an hour and a half white on top of white on top of white. It doesn't look like I've made any progress because I'm painting over where I already painted. 
<laughs> joys of renovating a camper. And you wouldn't think with such a small space that there would be so many areas to paint. But it all needs to be primed so many coats, painted white so many coats, so you just feel like you're not getting anywhere. But I did get the benches painted white and I did get around the perimeter of the flooring on those areas all painted white also so that we can put the flooring butted up next to it so we don't get paint on the floor and yeah. During Elisha's and I's tea time break, we were thinking and wondering what kind of things our YouTube family would want us to tackle after our camper project. And don't worry, there's lots left on the camper <laughs> to do. So much. But we're just wondering if there's anything maybe on your list that would might be on our list or things that we haven't even thought of. Think big, think small, think big. Yeah, we have a list that we have of brainstormed ideas of what we want to tackle after we do the camper renovation. And obviously traveling with the camper a little bit is on our to-do list, but that might not be possible right now. And so we're trying to think of what our next idea is going to be either for episodes or for a series. And what is that going to be exactly? What's it going to look like for our channel moving forward after the camper? So it's important for us to hear your guys' ideas as well. That way we can make sure that our lists align with your lists and that you guys want to see the content that we have planned coming up. We have some pretty awesome ideas, we but have. we want to hear from you. So use the comment section of our videos to leave us ideas on what you guys want to see because your opinions and suggestions, we read through all of them. So we want to hear from you guys. And we sit us. a lot on yeah. this uh good old thinking couch that we well, <laughs> seem to have called it. Angle. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to show our 1986 couch how we're going to have to give it a revamp and upgrade our thinking couch. <laughs> so yeah, we've been spending a lot of time brainstorming on this couch. So getting some of your ideas would really help us out as well. So leave them in the comment section. We're going to finish some of our tea and get back to work. So thinking about the think couch, <laughs> I think it's time for the think couch to go. We're not going to have anywhere to sit down, which is why we've reinstalled this twice since we've taken it out because we realize that we have nowhere to sit and think when we're in here, but I need it's to paint, to paint underneath and surrounding behind it. But I have to say it's looking rather white in here. Oops. No, I didn't do it that way. No, no one was. <laughs> that someone was going to want it off soon. <laughs> So this bed, or this couch turns and folds out to be a bed space. So we're going to have this as a bed space for Chase. Our bed space will be that bedroom space back there. And then Dayton's bed space is going to be where we're turning this dinette area into another bed. So we will have three different sleeping spaces. But this needs to be totally painted behind. As you can see, I had kind of worked my way around the perimeter of where the couch was sitting. So I need to be able to paint all of that properly so we can put the floor again into the bathroom. Again. Into the bathroom yeah. Okay, I'm panning over this glamorous 1986 couch cushion because we want to be able to remember what it looked like before I upholster it in the next couple of days. <laughs> It's so bad. It's the right colors. It's like, yeah, like I don't even mind the colors. It's just really grungy. Okay, so I've always dreamt of having my own vintage store. And so I'm going to start by selling vintage 1986 dust bunnies. <laughs> 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 so I'll uh, be photographing these lovelies <laughs> and posting them up for sale. Oh, this is just disgusting. <laughs> you can get two for one. Even. Two for one. Two for one. Buy one, get one free. Oh, wow. It's just white paint on white paint on white paint. I think I've done six coats of all of the areas that I've painted white already. And this is like amazing quality paint. It's just that the grains that are showing through of those for some reason is leaving like a bluish tinge on some of the white spots. So if they're not coated equal amount of times, then you see lines, which is crazy because this paint painted over black in the house 
no problem, one coat. <laughs> so it's just this weird paneling, it just seems to soak it up so much. sitting there and it looks great you didn't like the t the top that I cut for this bench well it warped because we used a scrap piece so it's now a U <laughs> so let's cut these tops and then the bench until you upholster is basically done right right so we figure out what you want to do with the top so we can open it for storage and yeah the bottoms are definitely going to be on hinges and mm -hmm. is this one going to be on hinges or is this just getting tapped that one right i believe is it's just getting tapped right down because it's going to be for shoe storage i believe on the front side here okay. and i haven't decided how i want the front to close or if i just want baskets or what and then we're going to be building eventually the table and the mechanism and stuff for the table so that that turns into a bed so i say we get those two lids on so i can roll them white and then, I mean, like, while we have everything else being painted white. <laughs> right. And then it'll just tie this whole side in. Yeah. And I'm waiting for a warm day to be able to take all of the white cabinet doors and everything all outside in the sun and just lay them all out on the tables so that I can paint them because I want to make sure that they're done right and then I can put the gold hardware on them. But it's looking good over where you are over there. It looks so and then we have this big old brown door and these brown windows. I just need a little bit of a nicer day to get to some of these projects. Yeah, let's get the table saw. Yeah. Meaning, <laughs> you get the table saw. Got and it. I'm going to keep rolling paint. <laughs> Even though our stove is still grimy from previous owners, we decided we just wanted to lift it and put it into spot. That way we knew that it fit perfectly before we kind of proceeded with anything else in the kitchen. So we're really happy it fits and we obviously didn't hook it back up because we're going to take it right back out and get it all clean because we're going to be painting it and doing a bunch of different renovation type things to it so that it matches our fridge that's going to go in that spot which we've been using as like our little catch-all for all the little supplies we need. So yeah, it fits. So we're pretty happy with that. Good? Yeah, I'm happy. It fits. You got it? <laughs> yeah, so this is actually really square because we built this and we didn't really build it off the wall. We built it and then kind of put it up against the wall. That one we already know what the dimensions are because we're just going to trace the existing lid that we already did. And we're just gonna make the one end just a little bit shorter so it doesn't hit the window frame because when I built it the first time, I didn't even think of the fact that the window frame metal part sticks out just a little bit. And so I want to be able to open it freely and not only open it an inch. <laughs> so let's do, yeah, we're gonna trace that one and we'll cut this one up. Double measure. Double measure. about this back piece if I want it to open somehow to be able to get the storage at the back oh that's cool or if I want just to be able to put stuff back here with a lid thing I'm still tinkering my brain okay about that so we're not going to screw this on but I am going to paint it white and this one white just so that we can say that it's white for right now You want me to put putty in it? No, there's gonna be a cushion. <laughs> yeah. 
Don't be ridiculous, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well, because I'm totally going to put a putty in this one. <laughs> The only reason there's not putty in there already is because you used up all the putty yeah. yesterday and I don't have any more until I get more. <laughs> there's a little dry so stuff. So I'm just going to prime it and then <laughs> I will sand it after I putty it and roll the white paint. Roll it with paint. <laughs> there's another one! Buddy. This is not acceptable. Turn it over. I'm sure there's some on the other side too. <laughs> I thought I chose the flattest side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mentioned yesterday in the video about doing like some leather little strap pulls to do the lift ups for the kids mm -hmm. and in my head I was thinking like vintage leather pieces but someone suggested little leather belt like the thin leather belts that you can get at like the thrift store so yeah I think I'm gonna do that that's a great idea we got so much white painting done today and I'm so thrilled with the progress it's getting brighter in here every single day and we don't even have any daylight really shining through right now so huge difference we painted all of the L bench we painted more of the main walls throughout the camper we got a good prime coat back behind and underneath where the bench where this bed is going to pull out to be when I upholster that couch we did a little more on the top, a little bit more on the ceiling. We got these cut, put on, primed, and we did some of the interior white paint inside the cupboards as well. We still have to drill this one down and put the hinges and everything on the L benches. I'm going to be finishing some stuff down there, so those of you who are panicking that I didn't finish my stencil, don't worry. And then I still have to decide what I'm gonna do in the back here. This wall's done, this window's finished. We just need to do the caulking around it. This one needs to get painted white when we have a less blustery day. Backsplash, this needs a good clean and restore. Fridge put back in, flooring in. Ah, oh, we're getting there. It's coming together. We're crossing things off the to-do list, but we're adding things to the to-do list. <laughs> so I'm not sure if we've crossed off more than we've added, but we definitely are making a good dent on this camper. And it is like, so I can see these designated spaces that are starting to form throughout the camper. And those are going to even be more defined when we get some of the color and some of the other accents into the camper, so. Wow, another <laughs> amazing day in the trailer. I was just thinking, are you more tired than me or am I more tired than you? Because <laughs> we were actually in the camper for a really long time today, but we got another huge dent of stuff done. I'm so happy about that. And just, even though it's white paint, white paint, white paint, it's still so much brighter every coat we do. And it just like comes together. I'm not sure on the camera if you can really see the difference every time I roll a coat, but it really does make a huge difference every time you do one. So I'm thrilled with how much we got done today. And those benches are so excited. Dayton asked me before bed last night if we finished his bed, <laughs> which we haven't even built the table part yet, but he's so excited to see exactly how his bed's going to work because he can't exactly envision because he hasn't really been in many campers to see how the table is going to fold down and make his full bed space. He thinks he's going to sleep in a V right now where the stinky <laughs> shoes are. So we're get, we need to get that finished for him so he knows exactly where his bed spot's gonna be and Chase is so excited about the upholstery of his couch and everything so the boys are getting more and more excited as they see it coming together so yeah so pretty fun I. so we are gonna go in and get something to eat hang out with the kids for a little while and then come back out and do some more work in the camper because we have a few more things we need to get done tonight so that we can lay floor tomorrow so don't miss tomorrow's video right oh yeah don't miss tomorrow's <laughs> video I'm excited yeah. flooring tomorrow Tomorrow's the day. And depending on how much we get done today, like later on today, we might actually post a second video for you guys today. So if you've watched this video, make sure to check our channel to make sure there wasn't a second video put out for today, a part two, because we have more things we need to tackle and we want you guys to be up to date always with what is happening in the campers. We don't want to make you guys wait till tomorrow. So stay tuned for likely a second video today. All right. Okay. We love we you. We love you guys. See you on our next video. Bye. Bye.